Whoa! Hey, it's all Rise Singer National Anthem. What's this? It's a mic. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say us that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave yep it's the program everybody We're on TV once again once a day every day drum machines and then we start talking. So I come over here and once a week I hear that song, maybe someday I'll I'll know it. Yeah, it seems like you're doing better. Somehow. Because I'm I'll know it. Before you like didn't even know the song at all. Now you know it, right? I know some things. How did you did they not like uh like say the lyrics of the national anthem more often in the past or something? Because I don't know how um, I know that song so well the only, only place i ever heard it was like beginning of the sports events maybe i sat down and and learned it on purpose for some reason you did that like a long time ago because i didn't need to learn it for the program singing but i already had known it or you're betraying your uh patrioticism by singing the song though i guess I'm doing it's what now? Displaying you're, you're or you're betraying? Displaying your oh, I'm displaying. It's true. I am displaying my patriotic patrioticism. Yeah. Patriotism. Patriot. My patriotic nature. Patrioticness. God bless uh, America, everybody. Hi, Carl. Uh, okay. Yeah. Hi. 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 How are you? See how high Carl is. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, Luke likes the, the answer to this one too, though. Oh. Hi, Luke. How are you? All right. I'm like this. Oh. Yeah, so you're uh, do that. Low. <laughs> you're actually I'm like this. low. I hurt to hear. Oh. Uh, you're over it. <laughs> I'm sick. What is it? What's the thing? I'm What's sick of it, and I don't. I'm. I've had enough. What's the thing you that we used to say, Carl? Do you remember that? I'm good enough. I'm strong. No, enough. not that. It was like I'm. O no, no. Like what? Uh, what was the thing when it was like the phrase that we would say? I'm over it. When it was was it just I'm, I'm over under it? it, or it's like I'm. Uh, I'm through it. There was some phrase that we used to say a lot that was something like about about when you're over it and then you say that though and you were saying it a lot and then I started saying it. It was like maybe a few months ago when we were saying this phrase it was like something about pa yeah being over it or passing. You don't remember what I'm talking about? It's in the past, Kenny. It is in the past. But we used to say it like quite a bit and then it's not, maybe... It's not from that... From that Parliament Funkadelic song. What? So high you can't get over it, or um, it wasn't like that. It was something like something about being over things, but I don't remember. What it was. Maybe somebody will tell us. Viewers above things, above it all. Uh, yeah. We got a, a letter from Croatia, Luke. Cool. Uh, there it was weird, and it's kind of. They want you to send them money. Um, no, that's what I was thinking too, but it seems pretty real and it's mysterious though because they sent it to Carl's weird email uh -huh. somehow. It, so is that over there? Went to my do, do, yeah, it's, it went to my domain address. Yeah, right? it sent you, they, like, so they're contacting us through weird, like, alternative means. Right. And, Carl, you didn't make this up. It seems w weird. Uh, well, why would I make it up? Uh, no. No, well, I, did, I, yeah. So, the end, so no? Yeah, did you make it up? No, I didn't. Okay. Because if you say, like, did you make it up, and then you answer, why Why would I do that? The, uh, that's like, well, then then you're, that's like saying, uh, like, if you did, ha if you had done it, and then you say, why would I say that? And you're like, he, well, that's not really uh, the answer to that kind of thing, that you're saying so something else. He, 
uh, he responded to say, you're welcome. Uh -huh. the, uh, the program is actually uh, an oasis in a desert of soulless media or something like that. Really? Yeah. Was that what? You keep on doing it's, the program. So I'm it's like, that bad in Croatia. Uh, <laughs> no, well, media. Maybe it's no, getting that Sol bad in the world. Soulless media. It's that bad on television. Right? I I agree. We're full. We're I mean, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> the Thank media you. in Croatia. Oh, so. yeah, yeah. He, yeah, but, but I he mean, gets the, all, the media in. He, he, he saw us he on YouTube. He still gets YouTube. Yeah, he gets the rest of YouTube, too. And we are the best thing on YouTube. <laughs> uh, viewers, if you're we're, watching at home... We're authentic beyond authenticity. 100% of Croatians agree. <laughs> I have so much soul. <laughs> you know, every Croatian I've ever met has told me that they... that we're uh, oasis in the soulless uh, ocean of mediocrity. Every single one. Everyone I've, I've ever been in contact with. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so his reply is he was even quicker to mine. You know, hey, hey... You could engage with uh, um, uh, White East WM, I told you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, well, whether or not that's to actually going to happen and he's going to drop a line to you or drop a line on, on Twitter or whatnot, I guess is anyone's guess. What I hear, he, he might not, I, heard, I heard a statistic that I, only 2% of people who watch call. Yeah. So maybe well, he's well, one of the ninety-eight percent or three percent. Can what? we can we maybe make that three percent? We can try. To what does that <laughs> to statistic apply? Like radio and stuff. Oh, general. Yeah, just just uh, call in right. shows. Okay. Oh, hey, Freddy. Oh, Freddy. Freddy and Jackson. Here's Jackson. It's uh, getting to be a party in the studio today. I don't uh, know if you heard purple. Freddy, but we had mail from Croatia. Yeah, so, yeah, it's on the wall. A Croatian fan. It's um, uh, right next to the uh, wood clock there. Oh yeah, do we have any batteries? We gotta get this. This uh. Uh. Here you go. That crazy cabled mic that has like um. Yeah, these gentlemen look they, like they're hitting they run. Send they're, it to the. They, they send this, it to my domain. The studio? No. To uh, they, uh, they send it to my domain. Those Carl's emails. It's weird. Oh, okay. It's like, why so did they I send it to that? I have a contact form on my uh, website. It's down at the bottom of the page. It's yeah. Just one but, like, why didn't page. they just send it to us somehow, but they send it to you personally about well, us? Well, they didn't know uh, how, uh, how to contact, I guess, <laughs> the. <laughs> They're having uh, a hard program. time learning how to contact us. It's right there. Um, well, well, by email. Mm hmm. But. Uh, uh, oh yeah, it's not even really a phone. That's why I think of it. It's yeah, like you can't text there, there, can you? You can. You can. You, you, you can text with the phone, but maybe he has uh, maybe the, well, the was a, texting was a, capabilities that he has in Croatia. That was a, are, a thick paragraph full of words there. I don't know if you just want to sit there and thumb that out. Well, actually, I read it on the watch yesterday's program. I actually read it. Aloud. Yeah, well, that was yesterday. Uh, yeah. Now we're just talking about it. Yeah. Yesterday's program. Yesterday's program. Is yesterday's programming. Who are you going to go uh, record today? Bonnie and the Jots, Jots Freddie says over there. Bonnie and the Jots. At the Voyeur? Yeah. At the Voyeur. They're, they're, the they're Vo packing up their gear and going to the Voyeur. Freddie's doing his other show, TV Mountain, yeah, which is on the same channel. We can watch them. Yeah, we watch some of that sometimes over there. Musical performances up in this town here. Yeah. Oh, there's the Quasar unit. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're over there. With the speed changing quaaludes, <laughs> the quaaludes unit. <laughs> it's the quaaludes. Freddie was talking about the quai. Freddie has quasar. a suitcase full of quaaludes. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie was talking about the quasar at, at the drawing club one night. And it's like, as if he had never heard of that word before, quasar. See, that, that's another damn thing that makes me feel old. It's like, yeah. That's, that, a, that's, that's a, part of science. Evergreen no, thing? It's no, Quasar oh. is like an old brand name that I'm just so fucking used to as a oh, person a band? growing up. Oh, well, it, then it's not just it's a, a brand of electronics. Yes. Oh, a brand. It's not, just not a band. A no. Yeah, well, it was probably a band well, yeah, too. But well, anyway, when I saw that, I was like, Quasar, what a unique uh, it's brand. It's not so damn unique. Nope. It's just old and obsolete now. That's why it's it's unique. If it has any uniqueness today, it's because it's just dying out. It's not like so. It's Sony. not just a celeb celestial body out there in the, in the cosmos. Right. So I walk in here and Kenny says, how do you work this thing? He's <laughs> talking about 45 record player. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? 
You don't know about Fortnite. <laughs> it's uh, like another thing makes me feel old, you know? I'm a, I got this small <laughs> It's record. a generational thing. Yeah. It's too small. Everything's generational <laughs> now. <laughs> it's like, all right. I, I, I think mean, and always. I know it's not an MP3 button. You well, we have all these different thing. overlapping of technologies. <laughs> we, we actually have... Uh, um, Just uh, think of it. It's like a cassette and, and uh, yeah. It, but I think that process is speeding up every. You yeah, know, that's right. That's oh that's yeah. See, so like in in my lifetime, I, I'll cover like media playing devices from um, and you know even an eight track. Player. A couple of generations of these of media format changes. Yeah. But it's like how many how many in my lifetime probably there's going to be like maybe six or seven. But like Kenny, you're going to grow up and they're going to switch every like two years or something, right? So you're, yeah. you're going to grow up being a span of like 20 different formats or something. It's crazy. Too many formats. <laughs> it's like, well, how do you how do you play this thing this year? And oh, what the track. fuck is this? Uh, that's, a, that's one of the newfangled crystal discs that you got. <laughs> that's <laughs> you an 8-track <laughs> machine right there, dead center. Oh, yeah, 8-tracks yeah, are it. cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. So hey, let's look at that. Uh, we we got all, all, all this that, different all overlapping technology everywhere. Uh, and that's look, look, let's look, look at stuff. Yeah. When look was the last stuff. time you were here, Luke? Probably yeah, Luke. about a week, right? Yeah, last week. No, you wait. Know? I, yeah, I guess it was. I guess it was. Last Thursday. And right. what, what have you seen in in that duration? Where have I seen that is notable? Notable direction. What did like you see on the streets East? in the last week, yeah. Luke? Come on, man. Shema. 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 What did you see that was notable in that oh, duration? God, in that duration, sake. I saw a lot of my art project taking shape. Uh, did Freddie go already? I had a question. Damn it. Yeah, I think he did. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Poofta. He's here wow. and then what, he's What was gone. that thing that we used to, like, I'm... Uh, You're really racking your brain over that one, aren't you? It's like... <laughs> you know, when I got out of poetry thing today... I went to the... Uh, hey, oh. I'm going to call him. Oh, oh, you did slam poetry? <laughs> so no, was it slam no, poetry? No, 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 not slamming. Regular poetry? Yep, yep. This was like petting and cuddling poetry, not slamming. Mm. Um, yeah. Gentle poetry? I went out. Or I got out of the poetry thing. I went over to the... Uh, was it cutting Obsidian no? sat there, and like Rupert was there, and he like... Says, Murdoch? Rupert says, uh, hi. And uh, at that point, I don't remember his name, but like I sit there for an hour trying to think of his name. And um, you figured it out. And no, I just uh, somebody else was. He was like part of a meeting, and people walked in and they introduced each other, and so I got his name by listening. Oh, Freddie left his bag here. Overhearing the. Uh, I think well, he's coming back. And he didn't know the answer to this question. I wonder if you. So speaking of uh, racking <laughs> no. your brains for for information, like uh, what you what you and Carl used to say about over and stuff like that. Uh huh. Uh, I was racking mine hey, for quite a while. I can't trying to think of Rupert's name. How did it happen? I didn't ha it, I couldn't actually come up with the damn thing. I had to, had to cheat and hear somebody else say it. Oh, you were <laughs> waiting? Yeah. Yeah, but you just didn't use it. And then somebody else said this thing about, hey! That's right. Hmm. You know, so, you know, speaking of racking brains for yeah. stuff, hmm. what? you're trying to remember that's on the very tip of your of your mind. Yeah, I gotta. I don't know how many. How find many minds it. does uh, Tip have? Like, uh, I think it has six. One for each direction in space. Ooh. Um, you know, normalized um, vector from a, a point. You know, six minds. Like Ninety degrees, kind of thing yeah. like that. Six of them. Yeah. Um, so like six up points, and down. Six tips. Left and mind. right. Did you? Did you? Yeah. Uh, and what's what's the the last two up down left right up down left right forward oh, backward forward and backward yeah. yeah yeah right there you go six tips for the mind tits or tips tips, tips. I didn't tips. say tits I will though <laughs> yeah my mind you like has that one huh Carl <laughs> <laughs> my mind has tits. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so what you were you went to poetry and is that what that was a week what you had to no, that's th that's a Thursday thing to do oh yeah that's yeah that's why I'm here that's why I'm downtown in the first place uh, and are you writing no <laughs> you're just listening to the poets yeah. yeah you're not writing anything yourself though because you do it sometimes right yeah yeah some I have written <laughs> some stuff. 
I What's so funny? Carl's, re- Carl's repeating. I, I'm still a little laughing. Whatever about, is funny. Uh, let's recycle uh, yeah. the uh, what? The humor. It, it, I'm recycling the joke. You're laughing about what now? Myself. You're laughing at. <laughs> you're laughing at noises about uh, laughing noises. Yeah. yeah about Why myself not? In oh, no, no, that's okay. I'm just trying to clarify. Okay. Yeah. What's a, it's uh, a, if no one else finds track. me entertaining, even uh, Carl left his own laugh and, track. Uh, 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 I, I, I can't, I can't help you. I'm here to entertain myself. I'm sorry. Like I guess eventually laughing gets funny in itself, and then you're laughing at your own laughter. There's that way. <laughs> there's, there's, that, is. there's that particular. Truer um, words have never been spoken. Yeah. There's a particular pitch tra- train in that laughter sample that Carl is laughing at. Uh huh. Which reminds me of a song by the Butthole Surfers, um, where they go, where they're da, 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 da. laughing like that, yeah. Aha! Uh-huh. <laughs> like I, I think it was it the Butthole Surfers. I don't know. Let me try to uh, go into my mind about this. Yeah. The tip of, it's on the tip of my the back. Tip of the, the, the back. mind. <laughs> <laughs> that just tickles your mind, doesn't it? <laughs> uh. Too bad my brain doesn't have any nipples to, uh... Oh, oh God. <laughs> no, no, I'm wrong about that. It was not the butthole surfers. It was it was SPK, Surgical Penis Clink. One of Ooh. their songs called, uh... Called, uh, I don't know. I forgot. Surgical Fun. Penis Clink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, that's quite a <laughs> bad name. Wow. Wow, there wow. you go. Yeah. Um, Ooh. They were popular back when musical youth w- was popular. Yeah. <sighs> musical youth. That's what? can he buy a musical youth record today without knowing that it was a it musical was a, youth? It was a popular sound in the eighties. I didn't know what it was. Nope. Ooh. I just it was bought a it for good the name. Sounding name though. Yeah, musical youth. So <laughs> you, is there anything else? That was it for that week. Oh, I probably saw like tons of shit. I mean, there's lo- all those fucking molecules out there to look at. Ashtrays? Probably. Overflowing in your parking yeah, lot? Yeah, in my parking lot. Ashtrays. I told you about that last week, yeah. Um, How about, about you, you, Carl? Yeah, what, Carl? What, 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 what? Hmm? What's happening over there at EV? I mean, Evergreen Village. Uh. Anybody trying to break into your car recently? N- no. Cool. I think not, but who knows? Yeah. I mean, I... Maybe they're I, trying and not succeeding. I skipped to the 19, 1990s and went directly into the year 2001 generation. You, <laughs> got that, uh, you stepped out of the 90s right into 2001? Yeah. That's only like one year, like, skipping. No, I, well, I, uh, it's a decade. I skipped a decade. So you like the early so 90s to the early 2000s, but not I, like from like 99. Yeah, those decades are right next to each other. So you move one, th- one from the 80s to the 2000s. Yeah. The car situation, you mean. The, the car situation. The cars. Model of the car. Yeah. You never had a 90s car. I never had a 90s car. You skipped car. it. I skipped it. Mm-hmm. Right on. I never yeah. had any one of those either. Um, so you got mm. the club still? still uh, I still got the club. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's on the um, driver's uh, floorboard, and I, I should probably put it into uh, good yeah. use or whatnot because I have still the, uh, the key for it but I'm always kind of lazy about shit until it's too late and then when it's too late it's like oh darn it Carl why don't you do that thing you know getting in the habit of doing that thing and you know it's on the floorboard and now you can't find your car it's probably stolen or I don't know Yuck. yeah yeah why does that Life is full of disappointments. Like on every the radio, now and then. car radio, NPR so. was playing a story about infrastructure breaking, and the complaint was that, that we always try to fix our infrastructure after it breaks instead of preventatively before it breaks. And it's, yeah. of course, it's way more expensive to fix it after it breaks. Than like it that Minnesota bridge that broke, or oh, yeah? or that bridge that um is that was in um, Mount Vernon area. Right, that, so uh, like, some sort of collision with the we beam. We don't take or, th- care of things beforehand. Something. We take care of things afterhand, if and possible. That bridge was also demolished. Yeah. So you take care of your car uh, and start locking it after it gets stolen, not before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just like fixing infrastructure after it breaks, and not before. Well, we're all human here on the planet. And I was wondering when I was here in the store, how can they not talk? They, you know, they talked about bridges, dams, and 
and uh, roads and stuff like that. But they didn't talk about nuclear power plants. It's like that seems to be like the, the top priority infrastructure to make sure that it is in good yeah, condition. Yeah, more pivotal than the yeah all the rest uh, of that shit. W- uh, whatever that dam is in California that is going to break down. The, the yeah, but, but they were evacuating people. And oh yeah, yeah. When was that? Um, was that a last week kind of thing? Or yeah, two weeks ago. Last Did it happen? Week. Uh, I don't know. It's got, it's got some sort of spillway. Mm. Uh, the uh, well, that yeah. city is also at the kind of the tip of my uh, brain, but I'm just going to leave it alone. Did they evacuate though? Uh, oh yeah. I I mean uh, it's it's within the <laughs> the bay the, the area uh, of the um, I don't know the canal or whatever but of. It, uh, uh, Sacramento. People so. live in the place where the only thing that's keeping them from harm is the dam? Oh yeah, this is one of the highest dams in the country. They or the highest dam in the country. It was like built in the situation sort of thing. and They were warned repeatedly for like a decade. Oh yeah. <laughs> about, you know, trying to repair it. And, oh, the, you know, the dam like, people? Yeah. But, um, or, or the dam people, uh, uh, warned the federal government or the state government, and and they're like, well, we'll get to it when we have enough money for that or whatever. Well, that makes but sense, but it's always about priorities and budgeting or whatever. And now it's, you know, the chicken has come home to roost. Yeah, but priorities and budgeting. Yeah, seems uh, like important things to come down to, really, because that's everything. What else is there? Yeah, really, it's like, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna are you gonna uh, like? Feed the homeless and build that hospital, or you're gonna fix an old dam. So people know. probably should move out of the way, though. I wouldn't want to be in a in a place like if I had a if I felt like I was in danger, I would move. Yeah. If you felt that way. So you people are were were really people, you are in danger, but should you I don't move? feel like it. Oh. It's like the uh, the big earthquake, for example, that's mm-hmm. scheduled to happen any uh, any time now. Oh yeah. Maybe I should move, huh? You know, it's like, you know. And then you look at this. I saw this map on the internet. Well, once, Kenny's like, going to leave me. Where's the, oh. where's the safest place to live in the nation, right? And uh-huh. it's like somewhere in the Midwest, um, kind of like the uh, Wisconsin or something. Yeah. That kind of place, I'll, that kind of area. You know, it's like that's the safest place to live, huh? It seems mighty boring. I guess that's why. I mean, there's probably um, exciting things to do in Wisconsin, but I mean, you know. There's no ocean to go play in. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin is safer, geologically. Yeah, it's like. Um, but fewest, uh, I guess everywhere you live, floods uh, during the, uh, everywhere you live uh, has potential of, of disasters. But June, the dam, the dam seems like a bigger disaster than an earthquake to me. Right. Well, during June, July, and August, there would be a heat snap and or a heat wave. And then, uh, you know, during the winter, it would be a cold snap. So, and In the Wisconsin? cold snap, yeah, yeah. Well, that's very Wisconsin. dangerous. Uh, did the thirty or fifty blow with wind chill. I think extreme extreme temperatures is much more dangerous than potential earthquakes. Yeah, because those extreme temperatures they do happen all the time, and uh, yeah, that leads to to you know death from the just the actual cold itself or bad road conditions. Yeah. So, I feel like it's probably way my options. I feel pretty safe where I am, and I don't think there's any dams or anything that are going to come after me. Yeah, well, I feel kind of safe, too, uh, uh, in a relative way, as regards the earthquake in this area. Yeah. Like, um, sure, it'll be, like, huge and, like, nine point blah, 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 blah. But, you know, uh, I'm not that likely to get killed in my apartment I know what to do. I'm most of the time in my apartment, I'm like in my bedroom. I know where to go for that sort of thing. Doorway. Not, not the doorway. No, that's generally a bad idea, actually. That's oh. what I've heard. Uh, I, I heard that's doorway. a good idea, too. Uh, ne- yeah, well, read up and get updated on that. Mm. Um, they change It's something new that they say, don't do that. That's right, yeah. That's why you don't know what to do ever. Those All those things are always... <laughs> like, oh, no. <laughs> the data is still unclear on what to do with this, so we're going to tell you to do this arbitrary thing. <laughs> <laughs> Help! Help! And like, we were wrong the whole Help! time. We're changing Help! it to this new thing. So they're saying, you know, as far as earthquakes are concerned, go take shelter in in uh, 
stru structural triangles is what they call them as a nickname. What is that? There's no triangles around you in a house? No, no, there isn't. No, no, no. But imagine the roof, the ceiling collapsing and falling on you. Uh -huh. What will form a triangle? You want to be in the void of that triangle. When the ceiling comes down and like uh, up against this coffee table, for example. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see You want to be way. in the middle so you don't get hit by the roof? Yeah. Well, not in the middle. But in the middle of the triangle. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's kind of the middle of the it's house, the shadow, though, right? It's the shadow of the uh, of the of the planks of the ceiling that that droop down from the coffee table, for example. Given that given that the coffee table is a strong thing, that's yeah. all. So anyway, they say like in earthquakes, you know, it's like uh, I think this coffee stay in table put pillows on top of yourself, that kind of thing. I think stay this in coffee bed. table is made out if of. You're there. Uh, uh, like balsa wood or like termite wood or, or something like that. You think that. it would get That's what you think of? I, I think crushed? it's pretty fragile. Termite wood? Yeah, it's like I think it's solid. I think it's this solid. One? Yeah, but the legs. Yeah, the legs are pretty solid too, but I think it's a solid piece of wood. No, it weaves. Come on. Look no, down. I mean, it, no, that, not the legs are not a solid piece of wood, but I think the whole top is a solid piece so of wood. So what they're talking about with this triangle thing, too, is like in office buildings and stuff like that, where you are vac in fact danger, <coughs> in danger of getting killed by ceilings coming down. Glued together. It's like um, they, they, they show pictures of, of tr these triangle voids where the ceiling, the concrete ceiling came down and like <gasps> uh, oh my god, was stopped by like, say, a filing cabinet. A metal filing cabinet uh -huh. was strong what? enough. What? And and the, the the neighboring plank of concrete just formed a triangle next to the filing cabinet, and there was this void next to the filing cabinet of, you know, where you would have been safe had you been there. Oh yeah, that seems like it's crushed. really hard to find. Yeah, well, <laughs> like, you're supposed to like ridiculous to find. You're supposed to like you know, like putting the club on your damn steering wheel. You're supposed to do that before, so you take account oh, of you this. Know. Account of these things before the earthquake happens, you know where to go. <laughs> if you're gonna do that in your home, you might as well just get like a like a a, a safe, yeah. like a, a first. I need a I need a metal filing cabinet, please. Yeah. <laughs> like that you can fit inside of like a gun safe or something, and then See, you. Like but my apartment building is made of you know standard issue wood planks uh -huh. and, and uh, sheet rock and whatnot, and I don't know if it's really the kind of thing that's gonna. Um, be terribly dangerous to be in an earthquake. It Isn't might, it like the um? It might be okay, you know. It's only two stories. Isn't the volcano gonna be before the earthquake? Like, right? The volcano. I was worried for a long time about the lahar. What's that? From the volcano. It's just L that. Lahar. The, what, it's just. It's sort of like short of a volcano. It's like it's when um, that volcano of ours over there. What do they call it? Rainier. Mount, uh, Rainier volcano. Yeah. It wouldn't Mount Kilimanjaro. It would not. What's uh, that? It doesn't need to erupt. It just needs to get Th hot that's enough. That's Japan. I'm sorry. It just needs to get hot enough to start a landslide uh -huh. of Carl? mud and, that's and you what? ice and shit. And this stuff would be supposedly coming down the mountain so fucking fast that it would kill uh, anything in its path. Mm, like Dante's Peak. Yeah. But that was lava. It's not lava. It's just. It's just. Mud and and stuff from the the mountain itself, Ooh. and it's like mud full of you know trees and whatever. Oh, you hit by the tree. Yeah, you get hit by all it. Well, anyway, I was told also that this thing That's also what, is th releasing noxious gas ahead of itself. Right. That will kill you before it ever get a chance to actually bury you alive. Whoa. Th that was in Dante's Peak too. It was. The no noxious gas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. When they were like in, is that a movie? In, uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's a movie. Um, I think it's. Were like, I uh, think it's supposed to be about the Mount Rainier or something, right? No, it's not. I thought maybe it's fictional. It seems like it, but it takes place in Washington State. I thought it was kind of like a "What if Mount Rainier exploded" type movie. I was like no? the Sierra Nevada mountains or whatever. What Dante's Peak? Yeah. No, I think Dante's Peak is in Washington. Okay. I think it takes place in Washington. All right, maybe you're right, but I I thought it was. Uh, you're conceding. I'm I I'm conceding, right. but I I thought it was uh, briefly, you know, it was like somewhere in in California. No, I'm pretty sure it's Washington, but I I thought I don't, you don't need to concede. I thought maybe we could ask somebody else about it. 
You, well, but you, you're not so who, sure because I'm pretty who are, sure. Who are more authority of um, movies than us? I mean, we're we're taping over movies all the yeah, time. Yeah, we're taping them over. Yeah. So then we like somehow uh, gain the we knowledge absorb, of them. We absorb yeah, their through content. through osmosis. <laughs> it's like I I'm... know about this movie <laughs> because I touched it. My consciousness is directly connected to the eraser head of the <laughs> yeah. VCR. My head I'm, bone is connected to the foot bone. I'm still trying to something. remember that that thing that we said. Like, I've, I'm like you're like, I've had enough. Well, you know, I'm going. I'm go- it was this uh, show. There's lots of record of this show. You can go in the past and go through the too much record. <laughs> well, th- that's why we have a uh, intern now to help. Uh, help it's help true, us, but uh, we just got an intern like and categorize an intern? and file. Yeah, we got an intern. Yeah. Uh, She's what's gonna the intern do? help. Sa- Sort and categorize. Sort and categorize, and the, the interval. And it's going to be beautiful. We will have all of our record, record keeping and top yeah. notch or credit shape or what? Uh, yeah. I guess credit. At Evergreen or something? It's got to no, be Evergreen. In, I think just in life, I guess. <laughs> Rest of, as of now, there's internships. You where, where you where you get to be on the, your resume. We're, uh, this person's making a database or a spreadsheet kind of thing of uh, yeah. all the things that ever happened in every episode. Yeah, of all the phrases, soon, soon, all that stuff. Soon, soon Freddie happen, started yeah. in on it. I remember that. Soon they happen. Yeah. <laughs> Freddie was like at least uh, trying to put down the guests. And oh, the yeah. Titles yeah, Freddie was trying to do it, but it's too much because we keep moving forward. And the interns, they look back. And this is the first intern we got. And the idea is that this intern was going to find more interns, and they're going to find more interns. So we started <laughs> the the spread, right. the viral spread of interns, and this first one is going to get us more. But just don't feed the intern after midnight, or else she'll turn into a group. Yeah, look up. Is that, is that yeah. Bella? It's Bella. Right. Bella yeah. the intern. Right. Yeah, just have her multiply with water. Bella, right. head of interns, we should say maybe now, but <laughs> she's right the, now uh, I guess she's uh, the only... Prime vector intern. <laughs> prime vector. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh. Hey, listen to this message. She infects others with intern. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, I won't. <laughs> I won't. Don't. Don't. I won't do what you. Carl. Tell me. I refuse to tell you what to do. Yeah. Carl, cl- uh, pull out your headphones and plug your ears then because I'm going to play this message. <laughs> la, 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 I don't yeah. message is this. It is yellow fellow. Hey. Can I, can I play the message, Carl? You, yeah. You know, let's, know, okay. l- l- let's, let's have him on the board already. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Do you I hear, can't that? hear that thing. I can't hear that yellow fellow oh. thing. Blah, 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 blah. Please call back as soon as possible. It's an emergency. Did you hear that? Emergency? It's an emergency. Yeah. Okay, we got to. Well, this is as can soon you hear as it? possible. You can turn, maybe you should turn it up, Luke, because me and Carl have headphones. Uh, you can turn it up on the stereo. Can you turn it up a little bit for Luke and Carl? Let me close the door, too. Oh, I think Freddie didn't. You didn't get headphones for three people? No, we only have headphones for two people. Well, we had a radio headphone deal, but uh, they uh, we got a letter, a cease and desist letter about the radio. Oh. Uh, who uh, sent that out to you? The management. Yeah. Um, it's true that I maybe mean, we shouldn't have been using the radio. Here we're gonna we're gonna call Yellow Fellow. This is emergency. He said it's an emergency. Yeah, it's that the big possible. no the bigger one on the on the bottom right, Carl. The big one on the bottom right. Uh-oh. I think I think he just got lonely. That should have already been on. Uh oh, Carl. Maybe you shouldn't mess with that stuff. No 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 no. Carl, that's here, the, okay. That's the here you go, go go. I'll do it. Or you can just turn it up on the TV. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Can you hear that now, Luke? Yeah, I can hear that right. ringing. That might be too loud. Well, because it's going to start feeding back. <laughs> Yellow fellow. That's right. Oh, no, 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 more than that. Has a voice middle. Mailbox middle. That has there. not been set there. up yet. They're good. Good. Oh. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Oh, yellow fellow, set up your voice mailbox. If it's such an emergency, I guess we should have called you because you called us like 12 hours ago. Uh. So maybe he... Is uh, incapacitated. Yeah, he called at like noon. Noon oh, o'clock. He called at noon and he's like, oh, I think he's later. So that was like three o'clock for him. So, yeah. Hey, yeah. What happened to Yellow Fellow? You okay? I wonder if he's okay. Maybe he he's gonna resign. You know, Yellow Fellow's voice sounds room. exactly like your brother Andrew's. Really? Just sounds so similar to me. Oh no, I would. I think I would recognize it more though. Well, it's, uh, to the untrained ear, such as my own. <laughs> I think they're close to the same age, and uh, they seem to be yeah. kind of similar. Maybe. Maybe we need to look for a new sonnet reading person or whatever. Sonnet reading. Did we person? have an old sonnet reading person? The, the, well, I thought that that's what Yellowfellow was. He was reading. Uh, 
uh, you know, like uh, passages from books. What's a sonnet? It's like a poem. It's like a poem? Yeah. What, is it like a, a subcategory poem. of a poem, or is a poem a no, subcategory no, no, no. of a sonnet? Or the, no, or? so he, he was, like, reading, like, uh, from uh, books or whatever. Yeah, he was reading from Just books. That's not sonnets, though. Sonnets is, like, well, like the, some yeah, kind of, like, number of syllables was, or something like he, that. He, he was poem reading a little bit. Okay. In, in the prior episode. So. Right. So that's what he know. is. That's all he is now? That, that he that's did that one time? That's all he is to me now. Well, I was think that we would make him like official, but if uh, you we want can't to ever get him on the You want him to the be TV, an offic- the official so- poem? Yeah. We, uh, we, we, uh, we were going to try to delegate. We, oh, yeah. We were going to give Yellowfellow a position. Above. Yellowfellow yeah. heard that we had an intern. And he's like, I want to be something. So we're like, okay, yellow fellow, you're gonna maybe be because positioned. Because we but told him that we had uh, one. Since then, we haven't. We've been trying to call him and be like, yellow fellow, we're uh, maybe we're gonna offer you a position. What are your uh, qualifications? Like, qualifications. Where do you see yourself? We're gonna like job interview him here on the program and, and say like, what's your biggest weakness? And then we'll, we were gonna give him a. a Ooh. So you think that I'm one half of those? Interviewer guys on Office Space and on that other. No, uh, is that half of that? Is that the only reference you have to interview job interviews, Carl? Double interview. Yeah, I, I, I never. Carl's the president uh, already. He didn't even have to interview. No, but I'm. I, I could be in a double interview. That's an interesting with, uh, thing, because like the ones in Office Space photo, I, from what I recall, were not. Uh, Interviews to get a job. Uh, they're they're to keep your job. Interviews to keep your job. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly do you do oh. here? What is it that you say oh. you would do here? <laughs> yeah. That's, I mean, Yellowfellow's already there, so maybe it actually is more like that than the, oh, the yeah, direct we interview. We're, we're trying to figure out if we, if we should keep Yellowfellow. <laughs> well, we're, so we're trying to think if we want to give him an a official position. But I think that if we get gave him an official position that he would just Ooh, be so totally bad and he would be like I'm in an official position and I like bad things you know he would say that and he'd be like I'm the official person Freddie do you remember this this what phrase that, that we used to say like yeah. that about being over it and we're like I'm over it something but it was like something that Carl used to say a lot and then I started uh, saying it I'm over it or something that? like I, it was something about like having enough and then there was like something that followed that and it was like this phrase I'm done I'm, uh, I'm, I don't remember that. Stick a fork uh, in me. We're no, it was a, like... I'm a turkey. It was like... I'm mm. a cook. I'm not going to do this anymore, and nobody can tell me what to do, or something. It was like I'm along not, those lines... I'm not, a, I'm not a doormat anymore. It was like it was like along those lines, but it was something that I enjoyed saying, and it was like a specific phrasing of this. Huh. And there's so many ways to say it, and I said it all the time, like at least like maybe like once a week. Sounds well, like, this we sounds can, like an intern thing. Yeah, that's what we were saying too. Yeah, you gotta find the, gotta get the intern to find out what the phrase was. I mean, what, what's we, that we phrase? We can have a uh, uh, quote um, "Rage so Against the Machine." I feel I like guess. it was like you were like, you were Don't like, do what you tell me. Something, yeah. I mean, is there some, it definitely at a time something wasn't working. I will do what you tell something me. wasn't working out for Carl, and he said this phrase, and I, th- I, I thought that it was a really good phrase for what he had said, and I was really repeating it a lot after that. Right. Like anytime anything bad happened, I would say this thing. It's a, it's a Carl. Yeah, Lizzo. don't call. Don't call because we're not don't call, we're dead. enough for you to call. Yeah, it was, it was, we're, I we're think talking. it was during that time. It was like when we were we're, saying, we're getting it down to it. Don't, don't call, we're it, dead. It was, like, no, yeah, it was like, don't call us, we're dead. Like, I'm over it. I remember that. Don't, yeah, I, I think that, it was during that, that time that is when I was saying the phrase. Thing that was said. We used to say it all the time. Like that number up there, we said, don't okay. call that number. Don't call. We're dead. We're tired of it. I'm yeah. over it. No more. Don't call me anymore. Unless you're uh, from Croatia, over then over I want to know how you found the that, program. It was during that uh, time. YouTube. Yeah. Tell me how you found the program Don't on YouTube me. if you're in Croatia. Don't call uh, that number. We're dead. Uh, I'm over it. I, you yeah. sure it's not our friend from Croatia? But that there was Don't, a friend from Croatia. Yeah, that's... Th- that's I, he, I'll have to read the fan now. I don't have time now, but... Um, I you forgot didn't tapes. I like left out oh. of here. I thought I had tapes. Oh yeah, in the bag, and I forgot tapes. All right, need tapes. You're gonna New get tapes. recorded on something. Yep. Yeah. Sorry. Who? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, John Webster. He's the only like other one that's watching all the episodes, and I don't think he remembers. John. Like we need John, somebody John. else. What are you? Doing? <laughs> John, help us. I'm over. <laughs> I'm had enough. I'm not gonna do it. Take about I'm, the not, I'm not. I'm not. I don't know what. Don't call me. I'm over it. 
Get <laughs> get out of here. I can't remember what it is. It's like, <laughs> bye. bye. It's like not a good thing to be remembering either. So it's like now I'm just going to repeat like a bad thing. Oh, I don't know what. It, here, I, here we go with uh, Ginkgo again. I think back in that Let, time, I wasn't even that. It's not like I was acknowledging this thing as like something to remember. I was just saying it. Just for fun, and all, I mean, I should have been like, "This is the new thing to say because we're gonna try to think of this thing in the future, and you're not gonna work." But uh, here, Carl, do you want a pill? No, thanks. Yeah, I tried to give you the <laughs> ginkgos. Maybe you should have done <laughs> the ginkgos that you remember, because I, I guess it didn't work for me. <laughs> but I remember a good amount. It was just like so, so you know, so much to remember. So long ago. Yeah, that's why we need the interns. <laughs> What is this TV? In the Mr. Ginsu? So, in 1992, a legendary African American dance choreographer, Cleo Parker Robinson, and I. It sounds like the radio. Mr. Ginsu? Is, is this what he does for us now? Fuck you! Oh, it wasn't before. Oh! oh, oh we get to see program so that they can learn him the skills reacting to radio. Well, with that. And that's when the hey. conversations really started with he ice disagrees with something that they're saying. Hey. What? Stop. Walk over. Hi. Hi. So the people who aren't on drugs <laughs> are saying, oh, yeah, we can get you high on your own brain. <laughs> hey, fuck you, cunt. Oh. You're a cunt. Oh. Fuck you. Oh. That's so cute. Cop up the fucking drugs. <laughs> Or I'm gonna kill you. What? Uh, now, you give him well, drugs or he'll kill might you? not kill you, but I might sue your ass. And I'm thinking about that. What the fuck, man? I'm just sitting here at work thinking, man, I was fucking fucked up for 16 years. Oh, uh, that's too long. And not one fucking doctor gave me painkillers. Yeah. I'm well. I cut hmm. One of the two first ones I had, but I was out on the road somewhere. Maybe you'd be addicted to painkillers right now, pain killers. But the rest of the doctors, they said, "Fuck, you ain't getting no painkillers from me." Yeah, it sounds like you didn't need them. I'm like, why not? Because you need all you need to turn hits. you into a drug addict. Yeah, because you might not need these. Sounds reasonable to me. What? Say what? You mean? I don't need painkillers. I don't think you do. When my hip is out of socket. Well, you just needed it back hey, in the socket. Fuck you. Oh. You I'm about need to, to sue you. Oh. Your doctor's <laughs> license. You're gonna sue them I'm because they to didn't give you painkillers. Into the fucking grave. Oh. Asshole. I don't think it's gonna work. So what about that? I don't think it's gonna work. You tell the you DEA. Need to thanks a lot, DEA. <laughs> I did what you said. I didn't give nobody drugs. Yeah. And now I'm getting my asshole sued out of my body. You're getting sued? Fuck you. you. Asshole oh, they're, oh, you they're, they're getting fuck sued. Fuck you, doctor. What? Hey, just fuck yourself. Mr. Ginsu always wants to sue somebody. He should become a lawyer like he said he was going to be. fucking teacher I used to have. Oh. Uh, hey, yourself. maybe you should yeah. team up with and Mr. Ginsu. And your grandchildren. Oh, uh, Mr. Mr. Ginsu. Someone. When I find them, told they ain't going to be happy. Mr. Ginsu is Happiness a, just left their something. fucking life whenever I find them. Oh. Perpetual victim, huh? Mr. Ginsu is always a perpetual victim looking for revenge. Find your bootstraps and pull yourself up. They have wronged me. God damn it. And I'm going to take revenge on them. <laughs> uh, uh, it, it, it's a good excuse to do a lot of cussing, and I think he really enjoys that. <laughs> yeah, he just wants to... I guess it's a good place I mean, to say I mean, it. This is my act. This is my cussing act. i got to find material for my cussing act. It's here. a good thing to cuss at. Um, yeah, yeah. You cunt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, Carl. Oh, look at that. It's a commercial from last year. We forgot Whoa, to look at it in the building. beginning. Yeah, hey, look. We got Freddy on the video phone. It's episode 1,999. Freddy made t-shirts. Uh, t-shirt. It's the end of the thing. It's you. This year. We talk about it's Y2K me. a bit. We talk about it's being wistful. We talk to a new snow or he's a mountain border or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Ooh, that's a retro vehicle. And so is that. All right. All Person. right. Or whatever. That was only a year ago. Huh? It yeah. was one year ago, remember? Yeah. yeah. Episode 1,999. It was all about that T-shirt that, that evening, yeah. It's all about Prince. Yeah. Like the guy? Those were the days. Yeah. Party uh, like it's 1999. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 1,199. It's going to be 2,000 next year, last year. So that means we're uh, one year into the 2000s. Well, tomorrow, almost. last year, it'll be your... Right, 2000. something like that. But uh, we're 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 pretty much about a third of the way through our, our two thousand. So I, I noticed the last tweet that I made on that YDHWM account was uh-huh. when we were uh, filming episode two thousand there at um, the Obsidian. That was the last tweet you did. Yeah, the last tweet I did. Yeah. And then I I was like, oh, lost interest in it because. Wouldn't get any retweets or or. Are <laughs> you looking for retweets? Well, I was looking for publicity from my efforts. You no, know, I'm it glad that happening. Bella was is, is doing it now. Is Bella tweeting? I haven't been looking at Twitter. Yeah, she is. Yeah, she's she's been tweeting. So. Oh, what is what has she been tweeting? Uh, or what have we like, been tweeting? I guess. Well, what we have been tweeting uh-huh. and now that she has joined is like. Hey folks, it's me, Bella. What's up, or whatever? <laughs> that's her, what she's saying. Th- that was her first one. And, oh yeah, and I knew about the first one. I responded, one. Uh, "The sky." It is. Oh, uh, you're responding to the the yeah, program tweets. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, uh, and I'm trying to. Uh, that's what I was not getting. I was not getting like conversation. You know, like uh, oh yeah, building think- a media. Whatever. Don't have con- so you're gonna you're gonna have conversations under the daily hour Twitter. I don't think uh, <laughs> that's uh, well, could have been. A- the, the, it's try to build up a social media property, you know, by uh, having. You're, yeah, uh, you had uh, goals. You had too many. I think Twitter goals. So that's not. I think uh, reflects well, yeah, over the program uh, as a whole. Side conversation about what you saw on the street is like something different than uh, just a casual conversation. So. All right. Um. And I wasn't getting any of that, but maybe Bella's more. Yeah. So you, mean, had a, you had a specific reason for giving up Twitter instead of just, uh, I thought you just were well, kind of over it in general. No, well, no, she she keeps on um, doing all this over it. stuff. Uh-huh. Uh, she's got like uh, this blog or whatever. And, uh, she, I guess. Um, has the, the program blog? No, it's oh, like well, uh, what, uh, some sort of that's music. Her own thing. Yeah, her own thing. Hey, listen to that. Yeah, listen to this message. And she's all right. Doing. We'll be right back. Well, I'm not sure if I said anything earlier or not, but I said something, but I can't remember what the fuck it was. <laughs> yeah, you were mad. You're trying to sue somebody. But as I recall, today I sat there at work all day long, wondering what no. fucked over. <laughs> yeah, that's what you thought about at work. Why wouldn't they give me painkillers? Oh, well, because you when would have been addicted to them. When I was in pain. Because you could have become addicted to them and you didn't need them. Pain is fleeting. The doctor, I hear is there some sort of oath they take. Why do they owe you something? Why do you think the world owes you something, pain. Mr. Ginsu? No. Uh, and here, regardless, I gave my own money to uh, the motherfucking doctor. Yeah. And he sent me home. Going no. Well, you're good now, so maybe they did the right thing. Have painkillers for pain. Yeah. Well, he it all got fixed. Maybe we could go back in time and get the. I didn't know my hip was out. I didn't know what was causing my pain. Mm. I didn't either. That's so crazy. But I hurt so fucking bad. I obviously couldn't even explain to him what the fuck was going down. How can you not feel your hips out or something? Or how do the doctors Maybe not know? I thought I was already a drug addict just waiting for a fix. They, they must be haters I don't fucking know. in Oregon or something. And I really don't give a fuck. Aww. Except Aww. for the fact that it's me and I give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, yeah, if it's you, you I give don't. a fuck. Hey, Except for that I do. Someone else, Why didn't you I don't give me really painkillers for pain You're so when my hip Mr. Or my, and my leg are not in the socket? 
Mr. Gintu would have been addicted to and drugs. You think I should sue that motherfucker? I think you could try, but I don't think you would win or in that case. Or you think he would want to settle out of court? I don't think you would win that case. Yeah, you, you could probably settle out of court with me. You can sue anybody you if you have enough. Should I go to every doctor I had and say you want to settle out of court? Sure, but then I don't think you'll be doing the doctor anymore. But I'm going to be needing some money for all the pain that I went through. Yeah. From all the fucking doctors. I kind of want to sue people. How do you? How does that work? Though I want to find, like find a lawyer, and then you sue people. Maybe I shouldn't talk about it in public. Well, Bella's mom is a lawyer. She's a lawyer. Maybe yeah. yeah. So. You, Can you, you sue you get, somebody for me? A lawyer person? I want to get. A, I think I should get a, a, another lawyer because. Lawyers are, uh, are are tricky. It's tricky business, you know. So you like you got to get a lawyer that you have no like relation to. It's not tricky if you know what you're doing. I think it's still tricky or, if you know what you're you, doing. You, you got run over or something. I think if you know what you're doing and, and then it's not as tricky. Got, that's what tricky you, is. Uh, but if you were run over on camera or whatever, so maybe uh, yeah. you should put this camera, yeah. you know, angle down and then and, go outside and then go outside try to get hit by a car and just waffle. And then, and then get sue hit them. By a car no, I don't want to get. Sued. I don't want to fake get hit by a car. I want to. I want to sue people and, for. And, and if we get their license plate. No, that's fake though. I want. I, I feel like no, it's like, real. No, that's fake. No, I love it. It's real. It's a real idea, and we. Can I mean, do it's a real it. idea, but it's. Well, we could build up Olympia and be really famous. And, no, that's and, that's yeah. in, that's that's against the law, Carl. I think there's. No, there's nothing. Yeah, it is. The law. There is. I but I think that maybe there's something. Insurance fraud. Yeah, I think that's insurance, insurance fraud, fraud or something. No. Or that's that's just a fraud in general. But I think there's something that I'm doing that I don't know about that I could sue somebody You're for and get money for. You're catching someone in the act doing the crime. No, Carl. Carl, Carl that's over. fake. That's fake stuff. Um, there's asbestos in the fake. ceiling. You're getting yeah. some kind of cancer. Right? Yeah, I think there's some of that stuff. Like there's environmental I, stuff that I can just that there's like out there that I can sue somebody for and be. Well, life is uh, cancerous, with, so good luck with that one. Well, I don't know. You're, you don't. If you don't. If we can't do this fraud thing, then you're just going to be negative about the whole thing. Sue your. Parents. Well, life is cancerous. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, cancer breeds from every. Well, I don't think that any, any, I'm not uh, worried about that stuff. But I'm. I want to find a lawyer. I want to find a lawyer and then uh, get money for them. Or a voyeur. <laughs> you could find a voyeur at the voyeur. You're just saying words that rhyme? You're just saying rhyming words? It's all about the rhyme. Well, hey, that word rhymes with what we're talking about. I, I'm now the Sonic guy because the Sonic guy we couldn't call today. Sonic? Who's that? The. the Yolfo. Oh yeah, we tried to call him. What's the Sonic? Oh, Sonnet. You want to? I don't. I don't know. I don't think you should even bring that up anymore. Don't call him the Sonnet guy. I don't like that. What is that? I I be evil. What? Nobody's saying you're evil. What are you? What? I no. I, I I said I was evil. Yeah, but I, why? I own that label because now. I'm, but so I'm you're saying you are person. evil because He's nobody started off. saying that. I'm bad. I think you're trying to fish for compliments now. Oh, uh, you're not to... bad. You're so yo. Don't know. No, no, you're no, not no, bad. No, no. I, I think he's just trying to hedge you off so that you don't have to call him evil. <laughs> I <I'm not laughs> wasn't going to. Yeah, yeah, you would have. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't planning on that. Uh, it's yes. Never planned. My logic is anyway. the general me. Yeah. I think my logic is the general me. I think I Carl like is a, a usual, <laughs> regular a person. Teddy's boss and hog. Yes, I'm. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Here, just roll the dice, Carl. Carl, a val you're a valid human with good intentions. Uh, okay. So Here we go. Look at that. What the hell is that? That is it's a bunch a, of little cubes. So that is some bunch sort of, hex of hexadrons. That's some sitting sort of on a goddamn thingy there. Um, yeah. piece of fabric. Okay. Oh wow. Who, who did that? One of the one of the um. It was uh, the needle little, pointers. It was a like woman at uh, the Thurston County Fair. Uh, uh, that that woman stitched that named. That yeah, name she. There was a, How could that be? There was a booth at Thurston County. Oh my gosh! A booth at Thurston Five. County Fair that they they gave you a, a sheet of paper. Yeah. And uh, you know a pen and said like you draw the thing and then they'll embroider it to you, and then they'll send it to you later. Oh. Cool. And right. it took her like. Two years or something, because uh -huh. she must have had so many of them. Uh, this woman who is doing it for free. Oh, she. Yeah, they got those machines that do that. Yeah, it's really good for. I like. I was um, so I amazed. Was looking at the. Uh, I never expected to get it back, but then I did. One of those. There's like a. I guess they're like go for about a, a thousand bucks or something. Like, 
made by Brother. I've seen one over at like Joanne's that uh, you can just design and, and have it embroider whatever you want right there on the spot. Oh, wow. I thought own. Brother was uh, kind of a printer manufacturer. It is. It like well, they, they, you know, they're, they're just into that scale of appliance kind of thing. It's similar to uh, printing embroidering machine. Yeah. It's like printing with thread. Well, that brother has always been into sewing machines. Oh, yeah. I think they might have been into sewing machines even before printers. But anyway. Because I'm pretty sure that sewing machines, like they, that were, Cosmos, they had them a lot from way before. Name? What was that? What? Cosmos? Uh, yeah. The, huh? the uh, thing that Freddy took. That Quasar. Yeah. Quasar. The Quasar. Yeah. The be a, the, the be Quasar of sewing machines. 20 years from now, you'll be trying to explain what the hell his brother was to some young punk. <laughs> <laughs> I went and got this printer that, was, that said brother what, on it. It's like, this whatever, weird. whatever, I don't care anymore, something like that. Was that it? What is this? It's whatever, I don't care anymore. Remember that? It was like whatever. It had, it had to, to do come back to you and I don't care it anymore. It had to do with what? I, like whatever. I'm over it. I'm over it. I, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Was I, that, was that I know what that it was? My, I know that my brain has tits. Uh, was, whatever. It, was it just I whatever? Care. I think it was just I whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm over it. I, I, I think that's what it was. Good. Whatever. That's pretty generic. Good. <laughs> well, it is. But, very clever at all. <laughs> but, but it's like, it's just like something that he would, that Carl was saying at the end of things. Like I would be, I would be saying something, and like in the middle Whatever. of, in the I middle, don't care yeah, anymore. yeah, that's why it was. It was like that. I was like in the middle of a thing, and then you just whatever. whatever. I don't care anymore. I'm over it. And then we're like, I'm like, well, I'm trying to say a thing, and you said whatever. whatever. Like so, it's just like the ultimate yeah. ender to anything. I think that's why. It really stuck in Carl, your mind. Carl, that's a hater <laughs> comment. <laughs> Whatever, I don't, I don't care, care anymore. anymore. <laughs> I think that's what it, I think. It's, I think it was that, right? Isn't because it, it, it sounds like it feels familiar to you. Whatever, I don't care Whatever, anymore. I don't care anymore. I think that's what it was. It, it feels familiar, right? So it's not particularly clever, but it was just whatever it, in the right context. Yeah. It, it was. It was just a thing that really fit and stuck. Yeah. All right. I thought it was clever too. I, I thought it, it was clever, but like I, I can't believe I remembered it. Did you say whatever? I think you did, didn't you? I was like, whatever. that's what it was. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. I don't he used care to say, I'm, well, maybe it's good that we stopped saying it though, because that doesn't sound like a positive thing to be saying all the time. <laughs> whatever. Well, are, are we really positive on the program? Well, we, I mean, not positive, but maybe moving <laughs> forward at least. Like are it was we a good. Moving forward in time. Yeah, we're moving forward in time, and I think saying whatever okay, is is not helpful to, in, in that time, way. Then we. It was a. Oh. It was a conversation stopper. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like before I rolled the dice. You can't really have a conversation with somebody who's just not interested in conversing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Carl has something to say. Whatever. Uh, whatever. I don't I'm care a, anymore. I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm over it. I don't care anymore. I don't care. <laughs> uh, well, I care. I'm doing it. Yeah, I think it was, I'm yeah. I'm going in. <laughs> You're watching your daily hour with me. It's our long hyper live call in television talk show that's recorded every day in Thurston County, seven days a week, 365 days a year, 366 days on Leap Year's Wad HWM began on September 19th. 2010 it keeps the weekend events so if you're watching this program at 11 30 p.m this episode taped on the same weekday the previous week if you're watching this episode at 3 a.m this episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year you can also watch any episode of the program on youtube.com anyone can come on the program especially you we rely on the community for content so give us a call at 360-836-4384 and leave a message. We'll play a message on the next episode of the program and we will call you back. And now, I guess, in the sake of time, I'll just kind of do the ending. Yeah, roll the rest of the dice. All at once. Yeah. One, and we'll just segue from one transition to another and then the credits will <laughs> segue roll. From and segue we'll just get segwaying. out of the way. <laughs> get it I don't out care of anymore. This, this specific <laughs> thing, I still care. Uh, it's a damn dice. I continue to care. Well, <laughs> what's the opposite of whatever? Very interested. Specific things. <laughs> I care. I'm into it. <laughs> There's the, the bowling pin sound, and hey, I'm, I'm in there twice. Hey, you won. I got a one. Did you? I picked a one. Yeah. I, I have a two. But Luke. I'm in there twice, too. Oh, you, you, you tied. You want to share uh, or you want to battle? I ain't good at battle. What? All right, let's do that. Let's do that. Battle. All right, hurry up, battle. Well, high or low? You, you, you low, can't. Low. Okay, go. Roll, 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 roll the dice. You can't really see. High or low? 
You get you get high, Carl. Luke gets low. It's That's right. Over there at 2 a.m. You can't really see. It's okay. Well, Who cares? You, you can see over there. Oh. We can announce it. We can use it. 360 Yeah, but uh, the guy in, in the. 109 State uh, Avenue, Olympia, Washington, 9501. Uh, go, Carl, go. What, what, hey, it's Carl. Look, that guy's Carl. You see that? He <laughs> <laughs> looks like he's working uh, hot. Right on. <laughs> It's you. Graham Graham, it's a good song. Oh, it's high. Oh, look at that. That's it's another high. five. Oh, I five. love it. Oh, you you took the win, Carl. Now you're the winner. Uh, you feel you feel you good win. about taking things from Luke? <laughs> I take you, I take things from Jackson, people all I think the it, time. Yeah, and if it makes you feel I mean, good when others guy. have when you have things and others and don't I'm have things. Fishing. I'm not fishing. I'm really evil. Tess, <laughs> William, Zilger, thank you. You're the crew. Lex Luthor. TCTV, LaBaby, Jordy Fabulous, Graham Graham, SoptonSpot.com, Don Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. Viewers and listeners. I'm bald, you know. Oh, hell yeah, dog. <laughs> it's that guy. It's, that's the... Oh, woof, woof. Bye. Poof. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> I'm over.